Hello students, in this video, I am going to discuss a question from the topic definite integration. This is a very important question for ITJ point of view. Question is, let i a is equal to minus 1 to 1 mod of x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 till x raised to 2n whole divided by 2n dx. And as n, n tends to infinity, approaching value of i n can be expressed as rational p by q in its lowest form. What we need to find? We need to find the value of pq into p plus q whole divided by 10. Now, I am going to give the approach how to solve this problem. Now, what is given here? It is given i n as minus 1 to 1 mod of x into 1 plus x plus x square by 2 x cube by 3 till x raised to 2 n by 2 n dx. Now, I am going to apply the property of definite integration. We know that minus a to a fx dx. This is 0. When this is 0? When fx is an odd function. And this is equal to 2 times 0 to a fx dx. When fx is an even function. Now I am simply applying this property here. Can we split this i n in two parts? Say one part is odd part and the second part is even, even function part. Let us suppose this i n is minus 1 to 1 mod of x 1 plus x square by 2 plus x raised to 4 by 4. Say this is one part and minus 1 to 1 mod x x plus x cube by 3 dx dot dot dot. Now what I have done in this step, I did in this step, I simply split this function in two part. This part, so this is what? This, this two part. Now this part is an odd part. This is odd. And what about this? This is even, even function. So this, this term is, if you calculate this term, this is 0 by using this property. Now, what can we say finally? We say i n is equal to 2 times 0 to 1. And in 0 to 1, mod x is how much? This is plus x only. x square by 2, x raised to 4 by 4, till x raised to 2a, whole divide by 2a. Because this is an even function, and in case of even function, I have simply applied this property. It is 2 times 0 to a fx dx, when fx is even. And in 0 to 1, mod x is positive only. So we can replace this mod x as x. Now, if we calculate this further, what we find? We find this i n as this is x and this is how much? x cube by 2 x raised to 5 by 4 x raised to 2n plus 1 by 2n into dx. If we simplify this, we find this i n as it is 2, this is x square by 2, this is how much x is to 4 by 2 into 4, this is x is to 6 by 4 into 6, finally what we get x is to 2n plus 2 into 2n into 2n plus 2 limit is from 0 to 1. Just put the value of upper limit and lower limit. If you put upper limit as 1 and lower limit as 0, you find this i n as 1 by 2, 1 by 2 into 4, 1 by 4 into 6 till 1 by 2n into 2n plus 2.
if we proceed this further, we find this eigen edge. This is one, two times one by two into four, one by four into six, till one by. Now, again, if we calculate this further, we find this eigen edge one, and what about this? One by two minus one by four. So this is the critical key step here. One by four minus one by six. And what about this? One by two n minus one by two n plus two. Now. Finally, what we get this i n edge one. This all terms will get cancelled except this term one by two n plus two. So this is the key step here. Two upon this two upon two into four can be replaced uh, represented as one by two minus one by four. This two upon four by six four into six each one by four minus one by six, and you proceed this in same manner. So what you find. We find I n edge one plus one by two. This is three by two. One plus one by two minus one by two n plus two. So this is how much? Three by two minus one by two n plus two. Now what will happen when n tends to infinity? When n tending to infinity approaches to infinity, what is The value of i n this is equal to three by two because this complete term approaches to zero because as n approaches to zero, this complete term approaches to zero. So this is how much? This is equal to three by two. So comparing this to p by q, so what you observe? P is equal to three and q is equal to two. Now finally, what we need to find? We need to find the value of p q into p plus q whole divided by ten. This is how much? Six into five. By ten, thirty by ten. So this is equal to three. So the final answer is three. Hope you understand the solution and enjoy the video. Also understand what is a critical step here. Critical step here is simply represent. This is represent two upon two into four. Two upon four into six represent in this this way. Two upon two into four is nothing but. One by two minus one by four. This is one by four minus one by six. If if you calculate this, what you find? This is one by two n minus one by two n minus two. Now, as n approaches to infinity, n approaches to infinity, this whole terms will become zero because the concept of limit. So finally, we get the value of p and q, and putting the value and find the answer. Thank you, and see you in next video.